There is currently a secret in Nier Automata that only one person on Earth has apparently figured out. Now minor spoilers ahead, if you haven't played the game, you might not want to know a few of the secrets here and there, but at the same time, it's one of those games that if you're not really in tune with the story, you might not even know what's happening anyway. So either way, minor spoiler warnings ahead. So literally a few hours ago, I'm not even kidding, like a few hours before I started recording this, there was someone on the near subreddit that randomly uploaded a video clip of him entering a hidden room within the copied city of near automata Am i saying it right by the way is it automata or is it automata i i don't like saying automata because that sounds like automatopia man so nah either way let's take a look at the entire clip itself Of course, we can't actually see what's at the end of the hallway because of convenient space errors because the recording was just too big or something like that. So he did not record whatever it is at the end of the hallway. However, he was able to post screenshots of what it was that was at the end. It's a church, an entire church hidden underneath the copied city. Now, where do we begin? First and foremost, people have been wondering how exactly did this guy get inside this room well that's something he's been wondering for over two months now see the man himself sad futago actually has been asking how you get into the quote-unquote church for two months but nobody ever really gave him that much attention actually right off the bat Many people have been wondering if this is a hoax, and the fact that he's been asking so persistently for two months now is kind of suspicious, especially when you look back a month ago where you can see him actually entering the room, but not showing what is beyond the room after that. It was only until conveniently a few months later and a few hours ago, just as this recording, that he actually showed a little bit more, but again, there was a convenient thing where there was not enough space in the memory or whatever that he couldn't record the whole hallway. So why bother answering how he got in there if this is all just a hoax? But that's the problem. How is it that this is a hoax? It's not a mod. I mean, it can't be a mod. Mods usually aren't this advanced, and if they are, then... I mean, this guy must have been working on one hell of a mod. But there are still some people who are skeptical. I mean... If you look at the map itself and if you do wireframes, somebody has actually looked through with wireframes, you can see that there's nothing there. Somebody ripped the entire map out and viewed it in a 3D model viewer and he saw that there was nothing there. There's even some people who've actually clipped through the boundaries of this copied city and saw that there was nothing beyond the boundaries. Yet that too can be answered by simply saying, well, it doesn't show up until prerequisite conditions are met and what are those conditions we still haven't answered that so until we figure that out we might never know if that thing would pop up at all but then again there is the man man himself yoko taro the man behind near itself who has stated before in the past that all the major secrets have pretty much been discovered. So when people talk about that quote unquote final secret that Yoko Taro has hinted at and hasn't revealed yet, well, this is exactly what he was talking about. We assume so anyways. In fact, there's a whole video made of it, very, very well made by the way, by Lance McDonald. You can go ahead and check out the entire video in the description down below, but to summarize, there's just this Chico that you have to enter in order to skip pretty much three playthroughs worth of endings. And it will unlock everything, debug mode, chapter select mode, everything. Yoko Taro already confirmed this, three years, ten months. That's how long it took to find the final mystery. Of course, we can take his word for it, right? Well, not really. Yeah, Yoko Taro is very, very beloved by everyone who's part of the Nier community, but not many people really trust him. It's 
just how he is. He's a madman. But of course, with all this hubbub, Yoko Taro has to have noticed what we said, right? Like what we found and everything like that. Well, he has responded. And wouldn't you fucking know it? Just as I've told you before, we can't trust him. Do you want to know about my insight? In that case, you can find my answer at my Twitter profile. Thank you. And what does it? What does his Twitter profile say? I can't answer about any products. Please ask publisher. I can't reply DM except business and acquaintance. You see, here's the thing. He loves fucking with people. I knew, I absolutely knew that if he found out about this, he was not going to answer about it. He was going to be very vague. And what do you know? He's very vague about it. Of course, he was happy to answer about an Easter egg beforehand. But now, oh, no. Now it's too, now people are too interested. <sighs> you, why is he like this? Why are you like pulling you aside from this mystery for a second? Some of you might have already gone to the near subreddit and have found that there is a plethora of pizza memes all of a sudden. Where the fuck did that happen? Well, I'm not 100% sure on the story myself. From what I hear, some guy claimed to have figured out how to open the door. And when he was invited on a call, probably some near automata discord call or some gaming mysteries call, he just said, hey, be right back. He wanted to get some pizza, and then he just dipped and never came back. So, it's just sort of been a pizza conspiracy all of a sudden. One discovery made four years ago actually strengthens the idea that this might be cut content or some secret area that was moved somewhere else, was by this Reddit user by the name of Alpha Satan Omega, who found that the copied city actually has a cut version of itself within the game's files, which features the church that was shown within this secret room. However, taking a look at this model of the church and the one that was shown briefly by Sad Futago, we can see that they're actually not the same. In fact, this church is a reused asset from Bayonetta 2, which is another game that Platinum Games also made. I mean, that's not really a shocker. Game devs use their own assets all the time. It'd be nuts if they have to recreate every single asset when they already have it in their library. It could be that this isn't really cut content, but more like a basis for modeling an actual tower that was seen in the copied city. It's also interesting to note that the version that Sad Futago is playing is actually 1.0 and apparently a disc version. At first people thought that this was from a patch that was released after Near Replicant, but the 1.0 version actually makes more sense as there have been discoveries in the past of easter eggs and removed content from 1.0 versions of different games such as Laura Croft that had a completely different ending in the 1.0 version discovered by just one guy who just didn't have really good internet and decided not to update the game at all. But even then, even if we get a 1.0 version and we get the earliest disc possible Possible that was released on production. I won't guarantee that we find this room immediately. There's obviously something in the game that checks whether or not you've accomplished a certain prerequisite in order for this secret to actually be revealed. What that is exactly is completely unknown. Even the guy who uploaded this doesn't even know. And so we're stuck here. Uh, holy cow, breaking news. The guy finally actually showed full video of him going inside the church, uncut, completely done. I don't know why it took him so long, but let's take a look.
Whoa, what's that? Unknown. You're useless. Well, that was certainly a lot of things, so let's analyze everything one by one. First of all, holy crap, if this is a fake, that is a lot of work put into it. Even a custom cutscene? Uh, Jesus. The bodies we see there in the shadowy figure are speculated to be Yona and Shadow Lord from Near Replicant and Near Geralt. I've yet to play the games myself, so I have no real clue as to how exactly this is relevant to this game's story, or if it's not relevant at all and it's just some funny little easter egg, so you're gonna have to tell me your theories on that one. Interestingly, there is a voice line that is said by 2B, but this is a reused line from a different part of the game. Right next to the body of Yona, we can see that there's a treasure chest that conveniently cannot be opened because he's not playing 9S. And trust me, we're going to talk about Sad Futago's weirdness in a bit. But first, I want to point out something that I don't really see a lot of people talking about, which is that there's a town outside of this church, at least it looks like it. A few times in this clip, you can actually see a few buildings just beyond this church, making me wonder if that's just background or if that's also explorable. And mysteriously, there is a strange shadowy figure that just flies up against the window as Sad Futago looks upwards. Curiously, this is not the first time we see it. It's actually seen the very first time he enters the church, so it could be a looped animation. Many people believe that this looks like Grimoire Vice, again, from Near Replicant, but we can't really say for sure. Now, as much as that reveals a lot, it unfortunately doesn't answer anything at all. In fact, it just has us questioning more and more about what this is. So with all that being said and everything combed through already, let me just say, I honestly think it's a hoax. But just because it's a hoax doesn't necessarily mean that it's not real. I just think that this is not accessible by normal players. I think Sad Futago has more access and more tools to the game's files than any of us could. Honestly, I just think it's so shocking that a fan base like Nier's could be so dedicated and so hardworking into finding every little thing about this game story-wise and gameplay-wise, yet they can't find anything about this at all even after 30 hours. I know that's not a lot of time, but when you have a dedicated fan base as this one, they find shit real fast. So let's talk more about the enigmatic Sad Futago. Or Futago. Whatever. Everything shown so far is very impressive, and honestly it could be done through mods, but by one person, hidden, without updating anyone about it, that's dedication and wow, that's talent. No modder has ever gone this far with their modding skills. But to what end is this person even doing this hoax for? Probably to promote their mod, sure, but is that really all? Some people have speculated that it's actually an ARG, something that we need to solve in our own, and to be honest, as the guy who's not really a games expert, but rather a spooky ARG kind of expert, well, 
I'm gonna tell you right now, it feels a lot like an ARG. This is how a lot of them are kind of built. Sad Futago, if you actually take his name apart, Futago means twins in Japanese, so sad twins, which is relevant to Nier's story as there are twins in this game. But those specific twins are probably not what this username is referring to, but rather the multitude of twins that are found throughout the series that Yoko Taro has worked on, which by the way are all struck by some sort of tragedy or horrible sorrow, so it could honestly be referring to any of them, or most likely all of them. Some people have pointed out that you can see Popola's and Davola's staff in the church, though I can't really tell if that's what this is. And again, I wouldn't really know because I haven't played the games yet, so oops. It's also strange to see that this guy's profile, well, it was created not too long ago and with the purpose of just showing off these easter eggs. It's not totally insane to think that this guy doesn't use Reddit and just sort of made an account just to show this, but it's just too convenient. In fact, too much of this is convenient. The first time he actually showed this easter egg, it was only a portion of it, just the door, and then the next time he showed it was just the hallway and now the third time he's shown it it's a church but he still hasn't opened that one chest the times that he actually uploads these updates are very strange as one person noted these were actually uploaded during prime time japanese hours you know after they came back from school and work which is totally a stretch i mean we all know what we're trying to say here that it could be a developer most likely yoko taro making up these lies of course we would want to believe that but here's the thing I kind of believe that. Yeah, just because it's a hoax doesn't necessarily mean that it's not related to the development of the game or the people who work on it at all. It's just not really accessible by anyone, just to them. And we can see that there's hints of things like that within these secrets, such as the fact that there's no arrows pointing towards the items. That's available for everyone. Nobody can really remove that. That would mean that this version is either incomplete or completely edited. And look, there's items everywhere. After the door, under the ladder, through the hallway. Whoever made this up clearly wanted to show that this was edited. Otherwise, they would have just removed these items. They're so random and just so meaningless. And yet this is the only place where the items don't have an arrow. I just find that hard to believe. But I feel like the most interesting and the most curious thing about this whole mystery has to do with Sad Futago, and I'm, I'm surprised people haven't mentioned this yet. What I'm specifically referring to is the way he talks. The way he types and the way he speaks, it resembles more like someone who knows English as a second language as opposed to a native English speaker. Now, of course, I'm not trying to make fun of anyone's English, and obviously this person could just be a foreigner who lives in an English-speaking country, such as Quebec, Canada, which many people believe he lives in, due to the fact that he gave us photos of the copy of the game he has. All 19 photos of pretty much the same box and the same disc. Yet I still can't help but think about the fact that he uploaded this new update at 6 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time anyways, but that would be around 7 p.m. Japan time. It's just kind of hard to believe that someone would get up so early in the morning just to post another random convenient update. The fact that he responds in such a sporadic, weird way, I mean, I don't know, it just feels like someone trolling or pulling your leg, honestly. Then there's the whole convenience thing, I mean, he has refused to share anything else other than what he has posted on reddit he has not shared a save file he hasn't shared what he's trying to do or how he progressed or what's beyond that or if he sees it he, he's very reluctant to answer anything at all let's not forget that he deliberately forgets or just doesn't do some actions that could prove whether or not this is fake like opening up the map or opening that fucking chest yeah, i get it he needs to be 9s but still so no i don't think it's a modder could be but man that is a lot of work like almost too much work for just a hoax and i also don't think it's an easter egg that anyone can just access what i honestly think this is is just marketing the most boring answer to this whole thing it's just viral marketing composed by the creators and the director of the game probably to promote either the game on the switch which to be honest this account was made about a month ago when the Switch announcement came out, or perhaps even more than that, they're adding content to the Switch version that will be soon ported over to the PS4, or perhaps more fantastical to PS5 announcement of Nier Automata and Nier Replicant. The choices are endless, the developers are useless, and honestly, I'm in love with this thing. 
really, like, even if it turns out that this is completely fake and made up and totally not real at all, I don't care. Honestly, like, the fact that he put so much effort into this fake would be fantastic. And if it were real, hey, I love being wrong sometimes. That would be totally awesome. It just sort of reminds me of why I love this game in the first place. And in many respects, why I love the fan base as well. Alright, honestly, I'm supposed to be at the end of analyzing everything, but honestly, if I'm just gonna let this go, it will haunt me to my grave. Do you guys notice that in this cutscene, transitioning between each frame, there's some sort of like kind of jitteriness to it, as if it's not complete? That sort of makes me feel like either this really is an incomplete content that was completely cut off, or the guy making this has yet to finish what he wanted to show. Which would explain why he's being so slow in giving us updates, he's making it as we go along with him. Could also explain why the items don't have an arrow pointing to them because he forgot to add that, or because this really is old content that they forgot to update. Yeah, but I'm stumped. I've gone through everything, I've analyzed all of the things that we have, and I'm, I'm just tired, I'm dizzy, and this is supposed to be like a six minute video, but holy crap, more and more things came out and more ideas popped into my head and honestly, I'm just done. I'm done for now, anyways. Hopefully there's a new update and you can be sure that I'm on top of it. But for now, I'm just gonna go lie down. All of you can figure out the rest by yourselves. I believe in you. I know you're smart. So, you'll figure it out. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. I love you all so much. I'll catch y'all next time. I'm so fucking tired. Good night. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Bye. Love you.